A gamma ray burst is the strongest and brightest explosion in the universe, and it is believed that it is created when a black hole is formed because of the intense pressure there. Despite the fact that they last only a few seconds, gamma ray bursts produce as much energy as the sun will generate during its entire 10 billion year existence in the universe. It wasn't until 1990, one that astronomers launched the Compton Gamma Ray Observatory as part of the Burst and Transient Source Experiment, BATSE, which was able to find approximately one gamma ray burst every single day for a period of six years. The BATSE team found that gamma ray bursts are evenly distributed in the sky, which implies that they occur everywhere in the cosmos at the same time. Gamma ray bursts that last longer have been found to be associated with highly powerful supernovas called hypernovas. These supernovas occur when stars that have between 5 and 10 times the mass of our Sun end their lives and fall into black holes when they implode. Unlike the typical supernova, hypernovas have a brightness of 100 times that of the typical supernova. They are thought to be produced by stars spinning very fast or with a very strong magnetic field, so their combustion is given extra energy as a result. As a result of the strength of such outbursts, ripples in the fabric of space-time are created, which are referred to as gravitational waves. Since the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, has been turned on, it will be possible for investigators to collect even more useful information about the processes that lead to short-lived gamma ray bursts now that it can detect gravitational waves from these collisions. During the core collapse of a massive star, long bursts are produced and short bursts occur when two neutron stars merge to form a black hole. In order to generate vast amounts of energy in a very short period of time, substantially more than what is produced in a supernova explosion. We must assume that energy is emitted equally in all directions. In an attempt to come up with a mechanism that would explain the phenomenon, theorists have instead suggested that the blast is beamed into a narrow cone of emission when it occurs. Having this effect reduces the energy production requirement to more physically feasible levels, roughly the level of an energetic supernova, but it also means that there are many more GRBs out there than what we can see, because we are only able to see the ones that are aimed at us. Typically, hypernovae occur at the end of wolf at stars when they die. It is known that WR stars are very hot and massive, and that their outer layers are occasionally torn off as a result. It is estimated that a WR star is approximately 2030 solar masses when it is born but it is expected to be closer to 10 solar masses when it dies. A hypernova differs from a regular supernova in the sense that it has an extra kick to it as opposed to a normal supernova. The core collapses and forms a black hole, which then ejects jets of material from the core. It is then that these jets slam into the outer material of the star, creating extremely high temperatures and sending off gamma rays as a consequence as well as merging neutron stars. Gamma ray bursts can also be produced by collisions between them. Considering that neutron stars are extremely dense, with the mass of the Sun, but about the size of a city, you could imagine that when two neutron stars collide, a lot of energy would be released into the universe. It has been predicted that neutron star mergers may be a source of short GRBs, GRBs with a duration of less than two seconds.